CIET NCERT presents Audiobook of Mathematics for Class 6 Chapter 10 Mensuration Page 210 Part 2 10.2.2 Perimeter of Regular Shapes Consider this example. Biswamitra wants to put coloured tape all around a square picture, figure 10.5, of side 1 metre as shown. What will be the length of the coloured tape he requires? Since Biswamitra wants to put the coloured tape all around the square picture, he needs to find the perimeter of the picture frame. Thus, the length of the tape required is equal to perimeter of square, which is equal to 1 metre plus 1 metre plus 1 metre plus 1 metre, which is equal to 4 metres. Now, we know that all the four sides of a square are equal. Therefore, in place of adding it four times, we can multiply the length of one side by four. Thus, the length of the tape required is equal to 4 multiplied by 1 metre, which is equal to 4 metres. From this example, we see that perimeter of a square is equal to 4 multiplied by length of a side. Draw more such squares and find the perimeters. Now, look at equilateral triangle, figure 10.6, with each side equal to 4 centimeters. Can we find its perimeter? Perimeter of this equilateral triangle is equal to 4 plus 4 plus 4 centimeters, which is equal to 3 multiplied by 4 centimeters which is equal to 12 centimetres. So we find that perimeter of an equilateral triangle is equal to 3 multiplied by length of a side. What is similar between a square and an equilateral triangle? They are figures having all the sides of equal length and all the angles of equal measure. Such figures are known as regular closed figures. Page 211 Thus. A square and an equilateral triangle are regular closed figures. You found that perimeter of a square is equal to 4 multiplied by length of one side. Perimeter of an equilateral triangle is equal to 3 multiplied by length of one side. So, what will be the perimeter of a regular pentagon? A regular pentagon has 5 equal sides. Therefore, Perimeter of a regular pentagon is equal to 5 multiplied by length of one side. And the perimeter of a regular hexagon will be dash and of an octagon will be dash. Try these. Find various objects from your surroundings which have regular shapes and find their perimeters. Example 6. Find the distance travelled by Shanna if she takes three rounds of a square park of side 70 metres. Solution. Perimeter of the square park is equal to 4 multiplied by length of a side, which is equal to 4 multiplied by 70 metres, which is equal to 280 metres. Distance covered in one round is equal to 280 metres, Therefore, distance travelled in 3 rounds is equal to 3 multiplied by 280 metres, which is equal to 840 metres. Example 7. Pinky runs around a square field of side 75 metres. Bob runs around a rectangular field with length 160 metres and breadth 105 metres. Who covers more distance and by how much? Solution. Distance covered by Pinky in one round is equal to perimeter of the square, which is equal to 4 multiplied by length of a side, which is equal to 4 multiplied by 75 meters is equal to 300 meters. Distance covered by Bob in one round is equal to perimeter of the rectangle, which is equal to 2 multiplied by, in brackets, length plus breadth, which is equal to 2 multiplied by, in brackets, 160 meters plus 105 meters, equal to 2 multiplied by 265 meters, equal to 530 meters. Difference in the distance covered is equal to 530 meters minus 300 meters, 
equal to 230 meters. Therefore, Bob covers more distance by 230 meters. Example 8. Find the perimeter of a regular pentagon with each side measuring 3 centimeters. Solution. This regular closed figure has five sides, each with a length of 3 centimeters. Thus, we get perimeter of the regular pentagon is equal to 5 multiplied by 3 centimeters equal to 15 centimeters. Example 9. The perimeter of a regular hexagon is 18 centimeters. How long is its one side? Page 212. Solution. Perimeter is equal to 18 centimeters. A regular hexagon has six sides. So we can divide the perimeter by six to get the length of one side. One side of the hexagon is equal to 18 centimeters divided by six, which is equal to three centimeters. Therefore, length of each side of the regular hexagon is 3 centimeters. Exercise 10.1 1. Find the perimeter of each of the following figures. Here we have six different figures A, B, C, D, E and F. 2. The lid of a rectangular box of sides 40 centimeters by 10 centimeters is sealed all round with tape. What is the length of the tape required? 3. A table top measures 2 meters 25 centimeters by 1 meter 50 centimeters. What is the perimeter of the table top? 4. What is the length of the wooden strip required to frame a photograph of length and breadth 32 centimeters and 21 centimeters respectively? 5. A rectangular piece of land measures 0 0.7 kilometer by 0 0.5 kilometer. Each side is to be fenced with four rows of wires. What is the length of the wire needed? Page 213. 6. Find the perimeter of each of the following shapes. A. A triangle of sides 3 cm, 4 cm and 5 cm. B. An equilateral triangle of side 9 cm. C. An isosceles triangle with equal sides 8 cm each and third side 6 cm. 7. Find the perimeter of a triangle with sides measuring 10 cm, 14 cm and 15 cm. 8. Find the perimeter of a regular hexagon with each side measuring 8 m. 9. Find the side of the square whose perimeter is 20 m. 10. The perimeter of a regular pentagon is 100 cm. How long is its each side? 11. A piece of string is 30 cm long. What will be the length of each side if the string is used to form A. A square B. An equilateral triangle C. A regular hexagon 12. Two sides of a triangle are 12 cm and 14 cm. The perimeter of the triangle is 36 cm. What is its third side? 13. Find the cost of fencing a square park of side 250 meters at the rate of 20 rupees per meter. 14. Find the cost of fencing a rectangular park of length 175 meters and breadth 125 meters at the rate of 12 rupees per meter. 15. Sweetie runs around a square park of side 75 meters. Bulbul runs around a rectangular park with length 60 meters and breadth 45 meters. Who covers less distance? 16. What is the perimeter of each of the following figures? What do you infer from the answers? We have four different figures given here. 17. Avneeth buys nine square paving slabs, each with a side of half meter. He lays them in the form of a square. A. What is the perimeter of his arrangement? Figure 10.71 Page 214 B. Shari does not like his arrangement. She gets him to lay them out like a cross. What is the perimeter of her arrangement? Figure 10.72 C. Which has greater perimeter? D. 
of neat wonders if there is a way of getting an even greater perimeter. Can you find a way of doing this? The paving slabs must meet along complete edges, that is, they cannot be broken. 10.3. Area Look at the closed figures, figure 10.8, given below. All of them occupy some region of a flat surface. Can you tell which one occupies more region? We have different figures of different shapes. The amount of surface enclosed by a closed figure is called its area. So, can you tell which of the above figures has more area? Now, look at the adjoining figures of figure 10.9. Which one of these has larger area? It is difficult to tell just by looking at these figures. So, what do you do? Place them on a squared paper or graph paper where every square measures 1 cm by 1 cm. Make an outline of the figure. Look at the squares enclosed by the figure. Some of them are completely enclosed, some half, some less than half and some more than half. The area is the number of centimeter squares that are needed to cover it. Page 215 But there is a small problem. The squares do not always fit exactly into the area you measure. We get over this difficulty by adopting a convention. The area of one full square is taken as one square unit. If it is a centimeter square sheet, then area of one full square will be one square centimeter. Ignore portions of the area that are less than half a square. If more than half of a square is in a region, just count it as one square. If exactly half the square is counted, take its area as half square unit. Such a convention gives a fair estimate of the desired area. Example 10. Find the area of the shape shown in the figure 10.10. .10. Solution. This figure is made up of line segments. Moreover, it is covered by full squares and half squares only. This makes our job simple. 1. Fully filled squares is equal to 3. 2. Half filled squares is equal to 3. Area covered by full squares is equal to 3 multiplied by 1 square units is equal to 3 square units. Total area is equal to 4 and a half square units. Example 11. By counting squares, estimate the area of the figure 10.9b. Solution. Make an outline of the figure on a graph sheet. Figure 10.11. We have a table. The three columns are covered area, number and area estimate in square units. 1. Fully filled squares. 11. 11. 2. Half filled squares. 3. 3 multiplied by half. 3. More than half filled squares. 7. 7. 4. Less than half filled squares. 5. 0. Total area is equal to 11 plus 3 and half plus 7 which is equal to 19 and half square units. How do the squares cover it? Try these. 1. Draw any circle on a graph sheet. Count the squares and use them to estimate the area of the circular region. 2. Trace shapes of leaves, flower petals and other such objects on the graph paper and find their areas. Example 12. By counting squares, estimate the area of the figure 10.9a. Solution. Make an outline of the figure on a graph sheet. This is how the squares cover the figure. Figure 10.12. Page 216. We have a table again. Column 1, covered area. Column 2, number. Column 3, area estimate in square units. 1. Fully filled squares, 1, 1. 2. Half filled squares, dash, dash. 3. More than half filled squares, 7, 7. 4. 
less than half fill squares, 9, 0. Total area is equal to 1 plus 7 is equal to 8 square units. You were just listening to the audiobook Mathematics for Class 6. Narrator Gaurav Marva. Assistance in Production Soumya Malik. Producer Vimlesh Chaudhary. Presented by CIET NCERT New Delhi, India.